a word about service providers. Hi, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality. And I'm from Eros Coaching. That's EROSCoaching.com. So when I use the word service providers, I, would, I don't want any confusion around that. Uh, I'm talking about sex workers. Uh, I'm referring to anybody who offers a service, including sex workers, of course. And uh, this video is just about anybody who provides service. And when I talk about service, I want to also mention that even people who sell products are actually providing a kind of service, whether it's customer care, or after sales support, uh, they are still providing some kind of service. So pretty much all of us, most of us would be involved in some kind of a service work. And there are people who work for companies who um, have a boss and then just do what the boss tells. So perhaps the link with service providers is not as strong. However, we are, we are all consumers of products and services. I go to a restaurant, and I order a meal, I am very much dependent on the service of the waiter or waitress. And so this is very much something that we are very familiar with. So today I want to talk about um, service providers in the sense of them doing a lot of thankless work. So we, we think like, okay, you, you, you're working, you put yourself out to do something, and it's your time for money, and you get a salary, and you get what you're paid to do, and you, you do what you're paid to do. And uh, this is a basically like a transaction. So I want you to know that a lot of times, people who are engaged in some kind of a service industry, they do a lot more than what they are expected to do or they feel they might be doing more than they're expected to do. They want to do their best. They want to do a good job. And why do they do that? Why do service providers go above the uh, norm, go far and beyond what is required of them to do um, more? Um, I am of the opinion that these people do what they do and they do more and they provide service excellence um, because they don't just love what they do. That's besides the point. Uh, they actually live for your smile. Haven't you heard that before? If you are familiar with or if you have ever done any kind of work engaging is providing service, you know you don't just want to have people pay you for what you're doing. You want your customer to smile. You want them to be so happy. You want them to be happy. And that's what you're living for when you're a service provider. I think sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we forget that uh, they are actually living for our smile. That whatever it is that they, they are being paid, um, that just, that's just sustenance. That's just time. But what makes them really happy is not just salary, because that's just what they need to survive, but your smile. Your smile is what actually makes them feel that that was worth it. That makes them feel, I'm going to do my best again for the next person. And I think it's so important that we remember this and I pass on this message, because um, so many people that I see are giving their best in their work, whether it's a cab driver, whether it's um, you're in a restaurant. Um, and uh, I also know of this makeup artist. And uh, I ask her why she, why she does what she does. And she says, I don't know, but I'm just very happy when um, people like their makeup. So again, she's living for that satisfaction. Imagine you treat her as a transaction and you, you, you're happy with your makeup, but you don't really say it. You're like, okay, whatever. Okay, thanks. Um, that's not why she's doing this work. She's not getting what she really lives to do. Sure, you know, she'll get to that point of, yeah, I'm doing my job. No, she wants, she wants that. She wants your joy. Your joy becomes her joy. So I'm sharing this uh, because I think 
um, is very much linked to how we feel constantly stressed, tired, overwhelmed. And um, there's this sense of just survival and taking care of ourselves. And sometimes we forget that we are part of a community and what we do and say affects other people. And uh, I just want to put the word out today that be kind, be nice, um, especially to people who are providing a service. Yes, they are being paid, but they're probably being paid a lot less than you think that they are. And um, it's really important to express your gratitude, but not just that. See if you can say more than just thank you. See if you can say a few other kind words that makes them really understand how much you appreciate them. So this is Martha of Arrows Coaching. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments about what I just said. And also, if you have any questions um, that you'd like to ask me that I could make into a video, then you can always email me at ask at arrowscoaching.com.